channel Beauty Basics by Lidu. So this channel is going to be all about review on makeup, skincare and maybe sometimes fashion hauls. So it's going to be reviews and hauls of all things beauty. So if that's something you're interested in, then please go ahead and get subscribed so that every time I post a video, you'll be notified. So, so in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Huda Beauty Four Filter Stick Foundation. So my shade in this foundation is 350G called Dulce de Leche. So um, let me just quickly hop on to the product information before we dive into the video. So it's a flawless filtered finish. It's a luxuriously creamy stick formula that melts into the skin for a natural filtered finish that lasts up to 10 hours. So let's do a bare test as well. Whether you prefer full coverage or barely any at all, this versatile formula will let you be the master of your complexion. Swipe it on and build up the stick formula, which is ideal if you're on the go or in a hurry. And thanks to its long varying waterproof humidity and sweat resistant formula, you can set it and forget it for the rest of the day. Coverage is light to buildable and the finish is very natural and that is why I really love this. Uh, I'm not a very, I'm not a person who loves full coverage foundations. I'm a very light medium coverage uh, person. But let's see, they say it can be buildable to full coverage. So let's see how this goes. So now let's hop on to the demo. So today I'm gonna prep the face with uh, the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. So this one is something hydrating and for dry skin people out there, I think this would be very useful. But this is the first time I'm trying the product. So let's see how it goes. Um, so I'm just gonna pump in my hand or in my thumb. Yeah. So I just took two, two, two drops. Not sure if that's too much. Oops, it's, it's very runny. It's super, super runny. Okay, it's like super runny, okay. Mm. So it feels like a nice base. Like it doesn't feel like a moisturizer, it just feels like a nice primer that's sitting on top of my skin. So that's nice. So now let's go ahead and try out our foundation. Okay, so this is how it comes. It's like a stick and then you uh, you sort of you know, turn it around and get the stick to come off. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you my shade match, which is really, really great for me. I think I really like this shade a lot. Um, so yeah, I put one here and then one here. And then one here. Okay. So usually if you want more coverage and you can do so. I'm going to be using a stippling brush for this. So I'm just going to be stippling it everywhere. So as you can see, it's super duper duper easy to blend. That was it. That was really fast. So you can see here, it just melts into my skin. Can you see that? spots have been covered uh, and it's like a very nice canvas uh, here it does look a bit whitewashed and that's because of the lighting and my camera I guess but all in all it's a beautiful shade match and it just sank into my skin so here it looks really good because if you look down I think it really matches this part and my neck really well and so I can you know put some contour and bring the definition back into the face really really love it it's a very natural finish it's super light and um, I think you can build it up let me just go ahead and try that I think in certain areas like here and here I have a bit of spots um, so maybe you can build it up there As you can see, it 
has done something you know for my face so it's definitely buildable but i don't want to build it too much because i don't like this kind of look where it's very very full coverage i like it very natural so just one layer is more than enough for me so uh, now uh, let me just do the rest of my makeup and then check in again okay bye, -bye. so hi guys i'm checking in after a full face of makeup um, so this is how it looks like a very natural finish um, you can build it up it is buildable and it does cover up all the marks so uh, safe to say that uh, you know um, it's a nice foundation that could be used for every day because I don't feel the weight at all it's super weightless and it's very light so um, if you're in the market and you're looking for some very light complexion product i would recommend this but i will also check in after nine hours just to do a fair test let's check it out how it performs okay hi guys um so this is a nine hour wear test and as you can see my face looks really really good uh and this is my face after an intense workout i did sweat and i just dabbed the sweat away from myself away, away from my face but just look at this, it still stuck through. So I'm, I'm really loving this foundation. So if let's say you wear it to work and then after that you need to go for a jog, don't worry about it melting and coming off your face because literally I was melting today and I thought my foundation was gonna melt, but it didn't. It perfectly held through and all my other products also look okay. And I think the fact that I put it on top of the primer gave it a, like a really nice space for it. it. Didn't like let it move. So that's amazing. I really like the primer too. Um, and plus for dry skin people, it's really, really useful for you guys because it's a hydrating primer. It's not a mattifying primer. I don't like those pore diffusing primers as well because it just makes my skin feel more drier. Yeah, so all in all, I'm really liking this foundation a lot. Um, so for those who like a natural finish and a very medium coverage kind of foundation, then this is what you should go for. I hope you guys like this look. So all the product details will be in the description box that you can check out later. And yeah, uh, if you ever get to try this product, then please do uh, give a shout out in the comments and let me know your thoughts on this as well. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll be back with another video. Bye bye.